I don't think we're worried about the Republican convention in the sense that for us it may be a real opportunity. It's counter-programming. Um, it's going to give us a chance to launch the shows before the other networks launch most of their new shows for the season. It's a time when a lot of people are coming back from their summer vacations. They're getting their mind into the fall. We just think it's a really good chance for us to kind of gain some traction before everything else starts. I think what we want to do is sort of zig while everybody else is zagging and get out of the fray. And it might be an opportunity for us to make some noise, launch some of the shows earlier on in the summer, and just get some traction. We certainly are at a great advantage because it is already a known brand. That being said, we're spending a lot of money to launch the show. But it's interesting because the viewers who are a little bit older know about the show. People who are, you know, probably 30 to 40 who grew up watching the show. And now our job is to entice young viewers who really don't know the show that well to come into it. So we still have a big marketing job, but it's great to have a built-in brand, there's no doubt. I don't really know. I mean, I, I don't really, I don't know who I would really compare myself to because, you know, again, when those, when those characters were on the air, they were kids. You know, who was I as a teenager? I would maybe say Kelly, you know. Um, I was not Brenda. But I think that um, who these characters are as adults is what will be very interesting. Yes, we're going to stream the shows again. I mean, it was interesting what we learned. It was a great experiment. We took the show off of the uh, site for about five weeks. And the idea was to see if we could drive more viewers to watch the show live or right after the show aired, you know, if they're going to tape it. But we saw some increase in the ratings that were really not significant enough to really stop streaming the shows. What we did see a significant increase in was the amount of streams and views that were happening on illegal sites. In fact, there was about a 45 percent increase on illegal sites who had, you know, Gossip Girl. So we just felt if it, they're going to watch it anyway online, we would rather bring them back into the fold and have them watch it on CWTV.com. I would say, I'll give you two tidbits. One is Blair and Serena, their relationship will be nothing like it is now, okay? And um, Dan and Serena, their relationship will go through a huge change. Okay, heard it here first. Only on TV Week. <laughs> Only on TV Week, Joe. Only for you.